Hi, welcome back to Life is a Treasure podcast. My name is Michelle Durand and I'm your hostess and you're listening to episode number 54, Breast Cancer Awareness. Well, you may or may not know that the month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, also known as the Pink Month. I'd like to share a quote that I love. She says, I believe in pink. I believe that laughing is the best calorie burner. I believe in kissing, kissing a lot. I believe in being strong when everything seems to be going wrong. I believe that happy girls are the prettiest girls. I believe that tomorrow is another day. And I believe in miracles. Audrey Hepburn. I really want to focus in on the fact that she says, I believe that tomorrow is another day. And I believe in miracles. Because when we're talking about breast cancer, we are talking about a disease. We're talking about a disease that is the most common cancer in women. Breast cancer. It is the second leading cancer killer in women, and it also affects men. But one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. One in eight. Most likely, you know someone who has had breast cancer who may have passed away from breast cancer. If you are that person sending you so much thoughts and prayers. I personally have not gone through that journey, but I do know women who have, and they've overcome it, but I also know women who've lost loved ones to breast cancer. So I really love and appreciate the fact that we have an entire month of October to increase awareness of this disease, to promote education and screening, treatment options and support, that resources are available and that women know they have access to help and to inspire hope. And I love that this quote that says, my heart is open to the potential that exists when I strive to survive. That's the definition of hope, to have a heart that is open to the potential that exists when I strive to survive. Because women who have breast cancer are striving to survive. They're known to fight and to be strong and to not lose hope and to believe that they can be healed. To believe that one day they're going to be healed. And I believe that breast health is an important part of our self-care and that we should be so proactive in taking care and learning about how to be aware of our breast health because that's where we can prevent. It's that I've, I've read that the best protection is early detection. I believe that so much that the best protection is early detection because if you can detect any cancer, the sooner the better. The sooner you can attack those cells and the better to get them out of your body and your system and to heal, to be able to live a life that you treasure again. So through this episode, I hope that it brings you some hope and help and healing information at whatever stage you are in, if it's preventing, if it's going through chemotherapy, if it's walking that journey with someone that you love. Because no one wants to go through this alone. No one. So there are a few things that we can do to take care of ourselves and to be proactive. And one of them is to maintain our healthy weight. And to stay physically active, move, get out there, move our bodies, eat our fruits and vegetables, take our supplements, don't smoke, 
limit alcohol intake, learn the signs and the symptoms of breast cancer, and most importantly, always learn and perform self-examinations. And when you go to the doctor for your yearly checkups, make sure they're doing breast exams. And if you're in the age group to have a mammogram, make sure you do the mammograms. And a mammogram is just an x-ray. And, um, you know, I'm in my 50s. I can talk about this because I've been having mammograms for a long time now. I've also experienced some weird things with my breast health throughout the years. I've had cysts. um, I've had scares. I've had ultrasounds done. And what I've come to realize with my own breast health is that I have dense breast tissue, which requires pretty much that I have a 3D mammogram. And now with insurances, you can have a routine screening. And most of the time, they want you to do that. They will cover it at 100% and waive your deductible. So please don't let that money come in the way, call your insurance company and ask them, do, does my policy include a routine screening for a mammogram? And if it does schedule the mammogram, try to get a 3D if that's something that you think would be better suited for your body. But most importantly, schedule your mammogram. I just really want to help have this as your reminder to schedule it. I actually just scheduled mine today. So I'll go have my mammogram and then I'll follow up with my doctor who will get the results. So schedule yours also. <laughs> um, you know, and I don't know, I can't really speak about this in more depth and more detail because fortunately I've not gone through that situation, but I just want to say that you can prevent it. You can um, get protection by seeking exams and you know early detection if there's anything concerning or alarming, but there's a lot of resources out there. Um, I highly recommend you check out like the American Cancer Society. I'll have their website linked. But one that I really, really love so much is the National Breast Cancer Foundation, Inc. And I'll have their website in the show notes. It's nationalbreastcancer.org. And they have downloadable information booklets, like little ebooks that will give you so much information and knowledge on how to do self-exams, what are the signs and symptoms of breast cancer, and just a lot of information that is really, really helpful. So check that out. And this is going to be a short little episode, but it's important nonetheless. And I hope that it will just be a reminder, if anything, to take care of your breast health, part of your self-care. It's so important. Don't neglect that. It could save your life. And I want to leave you as we close with this. I am sending hope for the fighters. I'm sending peace for the survivors. And I'm sending prayers for the taken. Thank you all and I'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to Life is a Treasure podcast. I'm Michelle Durand and I'd like to personally invite you to join us and continue the conversation in our free Facebook group, Life is a Treasure podcast. The link will be in the show notes at lifeisatreasure.com. You can also find my social media links on the website as well. Please reach out to me and introduce yourself. I'd love to hear where you're listening from and what your biggest takeaways have been. And as we begin to share our secrets, our stories, and our struggles, we find that others can have the courage to start sharing theirs. And this is how the healing process begins. So please help us spread the hope and the healing to others by subscribing, reviewing, and sharing this podcast. And make sure to tag me on Instagram at Michelle Marie with two E's, Durand, D-U-R-A-N-D, with 
hashtag life is a treasure podcast for a chance to get a shout out on the show and also visit lifeisatreasure.com for all the resources and freebies mentioned. We believe that everyone is equal and worthy of healing and unconditional love. And we promise that if you invest your time and energy to do the inner work, you too can transform yourself and create a life that is a treasure. So you can live authentically, love unconditionally, and laugh wholeheartedly. And until next week, peace, love, and joy.